That question is a very good one because I think it may touch on what really is the most important application of this work uh, that not just elementary particle physics or cosmology today but science in general since the beginning of modern science in the 17th century uh, has changed the way that people look at the world and their place in it. Uh, we're not subject to all sorts of uh, magical forces that are continually acting us on us, witchcraft or um, divine intervention. Uh, the world is pretty understandable in terms of rational laws working themselves out um, according to mathematical principles. And these laws don't have really anything directly to do with us. I mean, we're not, the human race is not somehow at the very center of creation as revealed to us through the laws of nature. Um, I think prob probably the biggest step forward in this worldview was Darwin's theory of evolution through natural selection that explained that even human beings with their wonderful uh, capabilities of intelligence and so on uh, could evolve through a series of essentially accidents uh, from inanimate matter, from, from chemicals that would have been present in the early Earth. Um, it, it's, I think it's part of the growing up of our species. You know, a child thinks everything revolves around him or her and the tooth fairy is there to put a dime under the pillow when the tooth <laughs> yeah. comes out and uh, the child is being watched over by forces that will punish him if he steps on a crack, you know, break his mother's back. And at a certain point as you grow up you realize, no, I'm not the central player in the universe. There are other people too.